Hi everyone, it's Jenny. Thanks for tuning in today. Long time no see. Sorry about the lack of videos. I've actually been really busy with some Etsy stuff and a collaboration, but I am back on track now. So I'm really glad that Kiki re-released the color mint in their planners just because it's actually my favorite color. And I have a Christmas sticker book and a Christmas paper lovers book. If you're into detailed reviews, definitely keep tuning in. Here is the medium leather personal planner. Please keep in mind that there are no dated inserts such as calendar or weekly. You'll have to purchase that separately. The binding has perforations and as for the snap button logo, it has a signature key logo. Now on the back, it has a gold stamped logo, which has never rubbed off on my previous planners, so fear not. Here is a quick comparison to last year's A5 bubblegum planner. The quality has not changed. It does both feel soft and plushy still, which I enjoy about Kiki's quality. The pockets have not changed and the inside interior is still in line with the cloth lining. You do get the classic notepad and also a little note saying that not to open your binder rings on the center because you want to open on the top and bottom to avoid ring gaps. Also the gold binding I've noticed compared to the ice blue palette does not have the tacky logo in the center. Thank god they changed their manufacturer. Also, you do get the classic notepad and the minty pen loop. To keep up with the watermelon theme, Kiki has made the inserts a peachy pink because it is summer in Australia, so I totally understand. Here we have is the A5 Large Leather Personal Planner. This is exactly the same as the medium planner, except the interior is just a little different. You do get the extra notepad for more writing space. And everything in the pockets and dashboard was made with my paper lovers book and the extra adhesive notes from the cute collection. There was a recent entry so definitely check out my Instagram for a bigger picture. As for the planet, they do include two sticker sheets as always, so you can label the dividers, and undated calendar inserts, and a bunch of to-do list sheets. I believe Kiki only releases light mint once a year, so if you're interested in the color, purchase it now. And I'm sure you're watching this video because you want to collect your thoughts and other brands as well and see how it compares. So here is the main Smith planner. Now this is the A5 size. You can also see that the button does not have the signature logo on there as well, but the binding does have an embossed gold um, lining. Now the inside is very pretty. It is lined with gold hearts which I love and the pockets are a little different so if you're feeling kind of anal about the planner pockets in the key K, definitely look into purchasing this one. Now the inserts has gold dividers which is so cute and the inserts are also very colorful and thick. The heavier paper means no bleeding so which is better if you use a lot of stamps. And the back pocket has an extra pocket compared to GK. For the extra notepad, you'll have to purchase it separately and the pen is from Marshalls. Now, if you're looking to purchase the Marion Smith Planner now, order very early, like right now, because I did have shipping delays when I ordered a month ago, and then I saw a few days ago that having shipping delay again. Reiterate, the main Smith Planner is made in America, and it also made with vegan leather. It is a little stiffer compared to Kiki though. Just in case you may ask, it is the same leather color quality compared to last year's Mint Planner. However, this comes with a strap, so it can get dirty very easily, and cleaning it can be a biatch. So if you're looking to get the Snap Planner, do it now before it gets sold out. I know they only release the light mint like once a year, at least from what I've known compared to last year. And also there is a little tearing on the top corners. It is very little, 
but I thought I should mention it because I do want to give a full detailed review. Now you can see I did match it with the teal planner, so it's a lighter shade, and also the ice blue planner. I do apologize for the coloring, it's a little off today, but definitely refer to my Instagram for a better view, or the Kiki website which I'll link down below. I know Kiki does offer a variety of planners for this holiday season, so finding the right planner can be a little difficult, but definitely refer to my other videos because I do give an in-depth review for each planner. In the sticker book, you do get gift tags and labels, and it's all Christmas themed. You can definitely use the stickers in your planner, and of course Christmas wrapping, and Christmas cards. There are a variety of designs, and they do include floral stickers. If you're looking for more sticker tags, definitely check out inconjuring.com. They just released their own Christmas sticker book just like this one, and it has a lot of floral stickers as well. Here I have is a Christmas theme paper lovers book. Throughout the book, I did notice there's a lot of trendy designs like black and gold and also soft red and green colors. So evergreen trees and it looks very pretty which would look great in any planner. And it also features a lot of envelopes and little treats that you can make besides for your planner. purchase you do get a mini Christmas catalog on some items that they have on their website and also in store which is so cute because I see a few items I like to buy. I will add a link down below if you like the virtual look. If you found this video informative and enjoyed it, definitely hit the like and subscribe button. It definitely helps encourages me um, to make more videos but like I said I've been uh, kind of occupied with trying to decorate my room for the holidays and actually reorganize my Calyx shelving for um, all my planet accessories. I will do a video once it's all done. I actually have a video in mind for my Erin Condren planner which I've been meaning to in my Etsy shop and my washi house. You can see all that um, spread on my Instagram so follow me there and definitely check out my website for more pictures from today's video. Till next time, bye!